my gosh! Very big. It's very old too. There's lots of goats on it. Look at that! It's a mini tornado! After an action-packed few days in the tranquil Savota Bay, our 80-day voyage continues. Our next stop, Sporus, where we encounter both friends and foe alike. If you're new here, we are Martin, Sharon, and Taylor. Welcome to Sailing Trinity Season 2, A Greek Sun Odyssey, around the islands in 80 days. Ready to dive into today's adventure, friends? If you'd like to see more of our Odyssey, hit the like and subscribe button now. Your engagement does wonders for the channel. Without further ado, let's dive right in and escape the ordinary together. I'm heading up to Catalonia to a town called Poros. I also baked some banana bread muffin. Mm. Fire. But for now, get ready to slip off. I hope you enjoy the, the sail down as much as we will. Hi, Sivota. Again. <laughs> yeah, it is beautiful. One of our favorite places. Pretty about the people you meet there, right? <laughs> Just like this guy. <laughs> this guy's name is Andrew. Joining us for this next passage with over 30 years of sailing experience, including an impressive 1,110 nautical mile journey across the Tasman Sea during the pandemic. Full article linked in the description. Having met Andrew last summer, we're thrilled to welcome his guidance and expertise on board for the next few locations. His mentorship will be invaluable as we set sail from Savosa Bay, feeling more confident and prepared for the adventures ahead. Took the Dodger down for the first time in a year, I'd say. I must say the open plan living is exactly what it's cut out to be. Very nice. Up slop, Captain Sherbo. <laughs> I'm the captain now. <laughs> I'm the captain now. So we're three hours away from Poros. Unfortunately, there's barely a lick of wind, but that's okay. We'll get plenty of sailing in, just not today. <laughs> well, we're chilling with our fruit and our nuts, aren't we? Everyone's a fruit in that case. Everybody's a <laughs> everybody's a fruit in that case on Trinity. Well, I think that's two hours look, left. I like them. They look good. But... It's hazy Jane out here today. Mm -hmm. It is hazy Jane. Very hazy. I feel like I'm waiting for a Jack Sparrow or a pirate ship to come out of that Captain Lechuk, <laughs> the coast pirate. He's coming. As we navigate the hazy waters of the Ionian Sea, awaiting a pirate jump scare or two, our destination Poros, approximately 32 nautical miles away, a scenic town known for its hospitality. Further, just a short trip from Poros lies Argostoli, where, between its mountains and sidewalks, visitors can befriend the famous logger-headed turtles. Sounds totally sick, dude. Let's check back with the crew. We have arrived. This looks very medieval. Lovely. So the Harbour Master Spiros has sent us some uh, information. So he said, Pre prepare for a sideways docking, so side on, alongside, I should say. Bring at least four fenders on your port side, at least, and down to the water line. So it's, it's a low dock. That is awesome. Very pleasant motor, <laughs> if you will. Pretty calm. Took us around about the time that we thought it would. There's a few more boats coming in by the looks of it. This looks like a wonderful little town. This is very Studio Ghibli Kiki's delivery service. Oh, 
Upon arrival, the crew receives a warm welcome from Spiros, the harbour master, who assists them in docking. The setup is relatively straightforward with a yacht key along the southeastern side, offering depths from 4 meters to 2.5 meters, with a soft mud bottom, one to generally provide good holding. Speaking of, with Andrew's extra hands, we secure Trinity efficiently alongside the key. Thank you, sir. Nice to see you again. Thank you. So, so who's the owner? Oh, no. Yeah. And this is Taylor. Hello, beautiful lady. Hello, Thank beautiful you. lady. <laughs> Thank you. Very helpful marinero. Very calm, easy entry. I'm just going to go for a quick ice cream. Captain George's. Who could have guessed? Yeah. Maybe take her out later on and come back. Whoa. Hey. Pretty cool, huh? Yeah. Oh, yeah, right. this is the swimming spot. Oh, yeah. Wow. Oh, this is awesome. Oh. Look. <laughs> <laughs> I've been looking for mint choc. They never have mint choc. I know people are going to be toothpaste. Yeah. Hell yeah. Have strawberry and give us a rating. It's good. It's good strawberry. Ice cream induced hallucinations taken into account. It's time for us to get some rest for our day trip to Argostoli tomorrow. Catch up with y'all then. I just made a makeshift tripod stand from the cardboard bin. All right, let's go, action. Good morning. We're going to Argostoli <laughs> today and there's supposed to be turtles. Yeah. So we're catching the bus. We're now on a scenic bus ride to Argostoli, winding along Catalonia's coastline with breathtaking views of the Ionian Sea. Argostoli, located about 40 kilometers from Poros, is the island's bustling capital and largest town. Nestled in a natural harbor along Catalonia's western side, the island itself has a rich tapestry of mythology, particularly linked to the figure of Cephalus, a hero from Athenian legend, who was famously rewarded with the island, then named after him. The bay itself is rich in both history and marine life, making Argostoli a vibrant blend of culture and myth waiting to be explored. Speaking of, we just arrived. Let's get to it. So the turtles are supposed to be over yonder, somewhere around that bridge. So I'm very excited and I hope we see some. It's a bit choppy today. Yeah. We might have picked an awful day to come to our as you can, as you can see. <gasps> it's a loggerhead turtle. <laughs> it's a log.
Yeah. Hello. Is she coming to go there? I've got it, I've got it. He's very big. It's very old too. There's lots of growths on him. It's so windy. So far, one turtle's possible. The loggerhead turtle is a remarkable marine species known for its powerful jaws. Growing up to a meter in length and weighing as much as 400 pounds, loggerheads travel thousands of miles across the ocean and are still considered vulnerable due to their habitat loss and bycatch. In Greece, they hold special significance with around 60% of the Mediterranean's loggerhead nests found on Greek beaches where they have easy access to nutrient-rich habitats and ideal nesting, particularly on Zakynthos, Kefalonia, and in the Peloponnese. Additionally, these curious creatures are known for their calm and relatively gentle temperament. They're largely solitary and spend most of their time swimming in warm subtropical or temperate waters. Loggerheads thrive in coastal regions, often frequenting areas abundant in their favorite foods, such as crabs, jellyfish, mollusks, and sea urchins. With their powerful jaws, they are perfectly designed to crush anything they so wish to eat. Their calm nature and fondness for shallower waters make it possible for visitors to observe them up close, contributing to their appeal and the need for ongoing conservation efforts to protect them in their Mediterranean homes. Another cappuccino. Yes, thank you, Calvin. There is a few away. Thank you. Just call me Calvin. I don't kill it. Yeah. What was the total name out of that? What's his name? The kid's name is Squirt. His name is... Australian name. What was his name? Oh, my name's. Uh, what is it? Okay. Oh, I don't know. You have to let us know. All right. Well, we just had a coffee, and we're going to find a taxi home because that bus was two hours. Taxi man looking for a taxi cab. After their turtle encounter, the crew explores the stunning holy church of the entrance of the Theotokos, an orthodox church constructed in 2007, dedicated to the feast celebrating the presentation of the Virgin Mary in her temple. This church holds a special significance for the local community and is noted for its architectural beauty and spiritual importance. Here we were captivated by its ornate nature and took some time to pray and light some candles. That was lovely. The orthodox churches are very, very ornate. That's probably the most ornate church I've seen ever. Oh, there's a grin in the Sistine Chapel. Yeah, yeah. The murals are fantastic. Yeah. I'm not used to cars, it's usually just boats around. Alright, now let's pray we can find a taxi. Flagging down a taxi, the crew enjoys another scenic ride back to the harbour in Poros. Sure the boat's still there and that Andrew's there as well. <laughs> so I googled it and kind of tried it just out with C. Crush. Are you kidding me? And we're crushed that we couldn't remember. Yeah, never. I have to have a baby to soften the blur. Much farther. We soon sat down for a drink with Andrew to recount our loggerhead of adventures, feeling grateful for the day's experience. And, unbeknownst to us, it wouldn't be the last of the day's adventures. Let's check in. Back to the boat. It's a bit grey now. Overcast and grey. Check out this. Look how high up this is. Go on. Need to build steps up to the boat. <laughs> oh, look at the tan on your man. What do you have to say for yourself? Bungle toe. Well, ah, got some southerlies coming in. It seems we've made it home just in time. Oh, rubbish getting blown all over the street. Look at that. 
This mini tornado. <laughs> raining. It was oh my gosh. Like, look, what is this? Piece of tree? Piece of tree bark. <sighs> Boat live. Thinking about taking the drone out. 20 seconds later. Yeah, we're missing things, all right? We're missing a drone. Yeah. Rest in peace, holy stone. Get you a holy gravestone. Gosh. See, this is the thing. When you have a house, unless you're the three little piggies and there's a wolf coming by, you're not worrying about it being blown away. <laughs> the separate old moment. Oh, I hope these people are okay. It's very windy. We've been in that situation and it's not nice. As the wind dramatically increased, with gusts exceeding 35 knots, we all sprung into action, tying down the bimini and securing cushions below deck. Once Trinity was secure, we each hopped ashore, together assisted several sailors aboard both catamarans and monohulls in their mooring efforts as the weather conditions intensified. What a day, what an afternoon, what an hour. Those, we just helped another boat, we didn't get a chance to film it. A catamaran came in, the wind, man. But sure, you wanna help um, people. No, nobody else, you wanna help everybody that you can because it could very much be you. There's so much community-based, I don't know, camaraderie, if you will, in sailing. Everybody's very helpful to each other. Because you know what, everybody's been in that situation. Everybody's done a windy stone to you. I'm gagging for sleep. And sleep you shall, sweet sailor. With the harbour secured and everyone safe, that brings us to the end of this week's adventure. With a new character spawning aboard, Trinity, turtles befriended, and Windy Mooring conquered, we may struggle topping it all next week. Just kidding, you'll be in for a lot more hands-on exploration and sailing, that's promised. Take a second to subscribe now and hit the notification bell to stay involved in our next adventure. Have you guys had any personal experiences with turtles? Share your stories in the comments below and the crew will get back to you. We can't wait to escape the ordinary with you. See you there guys!